What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Bottle here, and welcome to Five Nights at Smarters Remastered. Well, this is a fan game based off of Five Nights at Smarters 1. You can tell by that because of the the main menu music. It brings back memories to when I played the Five Nights at Smarters 1, 2, and 3 in 2000, back in 2017, which was two years after it was released. In fact, Five Nights at Smarters 1, 2, and 3 was re originally released in 2015. Final Smothers 4 was released in 2019. And I played that game back in 20, 2019. So yeah, and this game of course is also based on the Final Smothers series made by Big Trevor, who's the original creator. And also, um, before I get started with this video, I just want to make an announcement. I have reached 400 subscribers. So thank you for 400 subscribers. I appreciate all of your support. And um, as of making this video, I am at 404, so over 400, so that's a good thing. And to celebrate 400 subscribers, I thought I'd do Final Fantasy Smothers Remastered, since I do like playing the Final Fantasy Smothers series. So anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game. Sodor Press. Reopened Help Wanted. The mid Sodor Railway has been reopened after being closed down and abandoned since 1947. New engines have been bought onto the railway, but there is one that had remained there after it closed. The little green engine, which his name is Smug, which everyone knows it's Smudger, was turned into a generator, but it hoped to be rebuilt into a full engine again. Since he was the only engine that was left there, we are now renaming the railway after him to Smudger's Railway. And the newspaper is a picture from the episode Grand Puff, which is in season four of Thomas and Fred's. It, it, it depicts Stuart, Duke, Stuart, and Falcon at the mid Sodor Railway. So anyways, on to night one. Let's see what that's for us. Ooh, nice intro. Smudger just presented us night one. Thank you for the introduction, Smudger. I appreciate that. Okay. Alright, this office definitely brings back oh, memories from Final Smothers 1. Alright, so we get a phone call. Arrow keys to the lights. Your job is to watch the cameras doors. for any criminal activity. Your shift lasts between 12 and 6 a.m. We put new cameras because we discovered an old mine that been there from the previous railway. Okay, here's the mine. And a new office. The previous so office was scruffy. Proteus, which is moving, so he's active by one Bertram, and then Smudger. So night one, Proteus is the only one active, so yeah. And this office, the doors, as well as the cameras and um, the mechanics, they, they definitely all remind me of Final Smudgers 1. In fact, they're the same as Final Smudgers 1. All the mechanics and the camera and the, the office and the, the doors, the hallways and the warning lights, which will tell you if Proteus and Bertram are there. And just like a Final Smarters 1, you have unlimited power, but only a limited amount of door power. Okay. So, yeah. And this game's a lot similar to Final Smarters 1 on Final Smarters Remastered. Because Final Smarters Remastered is, is a remastered version of Final Smarters 1. Which means it's a lot similar to, to Final Smarters 1, but 
it's cart it's cart the game is the game and the characters is like and the office and the cameras like they're all cart they're all cartoonish instead of realistic looking like in the first game in fact in the first game the all the characters in that game are and this is the same with the second we'll find out smudgers too um, all the characters are models from and they're showing on the they're only showing on the camera they're models from the model series for Thomas and friends whereas in this game they're cartoonish Okay, Proteus is coming, so I gotta check the door. That one's gonna be easy though, because Proteus is the only one active. Okay, he left, so I gotta. I assume he's gonna come from the north hallway, so I gotta be ready for him. Okay. And I know for a fact, every once in a while in Nights 1 and 2, Shadow Smudger will appear. And you have to put up a camera, because he's basically the Golden Friday. Ah! Proteus, okay. Alright, so Proteus is going to be coming from the left door. And then obviously, if the warning light is red, it means Proteus or Bertram's there. And if it's green, it means they're left. Okay. So we won't have to worry about checking the right door until I assume night two. Because in the first game, Bertram comes from the right door. Proteus comes from the left door. I'm probably correct on that. Okay, Proteus is at the door. Okay. Proteus left, so that's good. Going back to the shed, which is with Bertram. Scruffy's in the mine. Smudger, of course, is in the generator shed. And then the first and final Smudger's one. Proteus is active on night one. Bertram's active on night two. Smudger's active on... And I think so is Scruffy. Smudger's active on night three. So it's probably going to be the same in this game since it is remastered. Ooh, nice music. And we beat night one. That was easy. Alrighty. Night one completed. Oh, we have a cutscene with Duke and Smudger. Ha 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 ha. That was a crazy cutscene. That was a quick cutscene. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, so apparently we do not have a password we have to type in. Passcode we have to type in like with the original game. Just shows night two. Okay, so anyways, we will be taking on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.